you would come in that order. First, I want to give honor to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Next, I want to give honor to our pastor, Superintendent Victor C. Davis, and his cabinet. I also want to give honor to First Lady and the church members. Now, have y'all ever felt like y'all was lacking at something, whether it was like school, work, or sports? That's how I felt with my walk with Christ. But I thank God for his grace and mercy, because his mercy is new every day. I'm thankful for the love he had for me. He loved me so much that he died for me. Because even in my slacking, he died for me. I, I know that he didn't die for me to just stay there, to stay in the mud, to stay where I feel at. But I know he died for me so I can get back up. God used many people in the Bible. They wasn't perfect, but God still had a purpose for them. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I have purpose. I'm thankful that God gave me another day to live because somebody ain't wake up. And I'm, last year I did a testimony and I'm so thankful that God enabled, enabled me to do another one this year. Amen, y'all be blessed. Amen, amen. Can we clap for him again? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Grateful to be here this morning. Um, I have been dealing with restoration, restoring the years of my life. And um, I just wanted to say that God will restore the years of your life. Um, with that being said, all I can say is to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for all the things He has done. In Him there is no failure. In Him. Has done. 